Yo, what's good? Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I sampled Jungle Joyride from Sonic Unleashed. The sample is fire, drums is fire, and so are the ways. So, I'm going to show you guys the sample first. Now I'm gonna show you guys the drums and how I did them. So I'm gonna just play a little bit of it first. So how about this? <laughs> Not the snares. I don't know what to really call it. Like, it's this right here. Hold up. This sound effect right here. Like a crash or something like that. I don't know what to really call it, but yeah. <laughs> Snare. No, all this is all I did. Just pretty basic right here. Um, hi hats. Um, I'd say it's still kind of simple. It's kind of a simple pattern. I didn't do it. And I didn't do anything too crazy. I wouldn't say that. And then for this right here, just some simple. And yeah. So now I'm gonna show you guys the full beat. Well, not the full beat. I mean, you guys will see it when it's finished. Okay, so I've been over what am I about to talk about in a previous video. I know that for sure that I remember, but this is about drums and how I had them. So, of course, I put it for the soft quicker. Had to change that from uh, free limiter to free soft quicker because it automatically puts it like that. And, um,. Fruity limiter with jumps, nah, not it. And yeah, so for the EQ, did this, you know, I've been over this before. And then, but something I haven't been over is side chaining. Cause like, I used it cause like the 808 and kick were kinda classy. So, here's what I have here. So basically, all I did was like, I went to my 808, and then I went to the side chain, and I went to root to this track only, and then with the kick, I went, yeah, so I went to the kick, and then I went to the side chain, and then I put side chain to this track, and then in this actual side chain, what I did was, I put on a fruity limiter, uh, you know, I put the side chain not to two, but to one, the first one, it's like the 808, and then I put these up, threshold messed around with that a little bit and then i put a eq on it because the 808s were too quiet i usually don't do that but you know in this case i guess you could say it was special so yeah that's the drums and how i did it all right guys so i finally have the beat finished and this time i'm gonna play it with the 808s and the sample but before I do, I just want to show you, show you guys something. So I do have an 808, like it's like a Pierre 808, and all I did was reverse it and I cut it out a little bit. So 
I just wanted to mention that. And yeah, here's the beat. That's the beer I got for you there. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed.